Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrimoFoTech.com and on this video I want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 Build 10 537. This is a leaked version of the operating system um, which contains uh, a few new improvements and changes since the uh, Windows 10 Build uh, 10 532 which is the current official uh, pre-release of the operating system. So let's dive into the, uh, into the new changes. So uh, one of the things that Microsoft is doing on this build and moving forward, it's that uh, it's updating the animations when you open or close a uh, Windows apps. You know those apps that you download from the store. Now they match the same animation on the uh, desktop applications and even the uh, file explorer. Let me show you an example. If you open the uh, the store and then if we close it now, we have an effect that the one you saw right there and then if we open the uh, um, file explorer and then we close it we see the uh, the same effect I know you probably seen when you when I opened the uh, the store that it wasn't actually um, a full animation there but it should be and maybe it's not working for me or Microsoft needs to uh, fix this on on future updates. Uh, it is a pre-release so there's a lot of things that are not working correctly but it, sh but it should be there and should come on, on future updates. So uh, let's move on to the uh, next change. Microsoft on Windows 10 Build 10 Fight 32 uh, acknowledged that, uh, that there was an issue with that and they started making changes. On on 10.5.37, which is the leaked version, now we see improvements over uh, those changes that we've seen on the 10.5.32. Uh, now we see we can see the uh, the new menus, but now instead of the uh, white background, now we see a light gray um, background on the actual context menu. And now the menus. Uh, let me see if I can show you really quick. If we go to uh, control panel and then if we um, go to let's say to change the uh, network adapter options and we can see right there that we uh, you know we can access to the uh, to the new menu even if we go to file explorer and then we right click on on a file we'll get the the new updated uh, context menu which still doesn't look the same as the um, context menu we'll find on the taskbar but they're uh, they're getting improved and, and it's gonna get better so I just hope that uh, uh, upcoming updates uh, will see uh, new changes on on this area um, another thing that is changing is the um, uh, icons so on Windows 10 we had seen new icons if we go now all these are new icons but Microsoft didn't change the icons on every area of the operating system it's gradually uh, integrated in the, in the new icons so now if we go for example to a control panel and we switch to uh, to the category view now we'll see the appearance and personalization has a, a new icon and even if we go to uh, let's see view devices and printer we go there and we'll see new icons everywhere and these are more modern looking but we still see some old ones like I think this one is uh, this these two they might seem all uh, the microphone I don't know if it I think that's new one but this one definitely looks like still looks like the uh, Windows 7 uh, time but uh but we do have new icons there so that's that's pretty cool and and you know and Microsoft will keep updating the uh, uh, the icons throughout the operating system also like if we go for example to device manager we're also going to see uh, new icons like you see on the mouse memory and display adapter those are all new um, Icons, even the processor, it's like it's, it's a new new icon, and you'll see here is also a new icon as well. And right here, the refresh icon has been changed. So gradually, Microsoft is updating all the icons throughout the operating system, which is uh, a good thing. We still have we still see some of the icons that go back to uh, 
uh, Windows XP uh, or Windows Vista. So that's good that it's uh, doing that. So uh, there is another changes happening on the settings apps. There is not many changes, but we'll see some improvements on the uh, privacy settings. Now we're going to see two additional um, sections, which is uh, call history on email. When we go to call history, we can enable or disable uh, this feature with basically uh, and you will uh, um, the principle will give you uh, an option so you can limit which apps have access to uh, your call history and so we might maybe we have this option because of the uh, uh, the new message uh, messaging uh, messaging app that it might be uh, coming later on but we still don't know what's going to happen or if these changes actually are going to be available when Microsoft releases um, uh, threshold uh, 2 we might which might happen uh, pretty soon so uh, there is also the email section where it allows us to uh, to limit which apps um, you know have access to uh, send email and we can enable or disable globally the option or we can go on each app and enable and disable which apps we would like to do that. Uh, finally, uh, there is some changes go going on on the um, Microsoft Edge browser. And that's if we go to settings, we'll see that the uh, app has been upgraded to 21.10.537. And if we go to the advanced settings, we see now a new button to configure the proxy which uh, literally takes us to the uh, settings app so you know the place that we actually can configure the uh, the proxy settings and if we go down to the bottom we'll see that it's a new app that says hi my local IP address uh, over uh, WebRTC connections you can enable and disable that and finally if we go to the about flags we're going to see a new entry for fast identity online we and um, that's disabled but if you need to enable that option it's right there so that's basically all the main changes on this uh, on this bill uh, I make sure if uh, there is a new new changes or is a new bill coming up make sure to like make another video highlighting all the new uh, changes so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and I hope this video was informative for you and I'll thank you for viewing